good morning lovely souls happy friday it's tim wild um coming to you with the uh weekly ascension update end of, end of the week ascension update and i want to talk a little bit this morning about a reoccurring or very much increasing pattern that we are seeing around us as as light workers and that will but it basically it pertains towards souls who are in distress okay now due to the circumstances that we've experienced this year due to the shift that's going on on this planet due to the fact that two billion people are going to be forced to wake this year that weren't awake <laughs> in january 2020 we are seeing an incredible increase in people who are who are waving the red flags um very and and shouting for assistance very very loudly now this was always going to be the case now if you look at what happens when people wake up if you look what happens when when change occurs in our lives inevitably the transformation the alchemy from from one vibration to another tends to be quite jarring uh, and and many of us you many of you will resonate with this that say say you cast your mind back to and this doesn't this this doesn't uh, you know this doesn't apply to all of us there is a certain section of people um, particularly since the cosmic moment in 2012 who've experienced on a re on a collective basis wake ups that can only be regarded as a rocket ride or a roller coaster which means that you ch you change in a very short space of time you go from asleep to conscious and i don't mean just kind of like you know a little bit conscious like i mean i mean fully conscious with the level of understanding that a lot of us have worked for over a very long period of time and these tend to these, i've started seeing more and more of these after after the cosmic moment the 21st of december 2012 which is a very similar date energetically to the one that we've we're, we've got coming up on the the winter solstice this year and prior to that wake-ups tended to be a little bit more kind of i wouldn't ever say that they were kind of mild or kind of enjoyable experiences but they weren't contained in this in this kind of like rocket energy that we've been experiencing so much for the last eight years so the closer that you the the further away that we get from the 21st of december 2012 the more kind of instantaneous the more jarring the more um the more power or explosive force is kind of packed into these wake up circumstances because let's face it if you've been say you've been I'm, I'm 48 years old if i decided to kind of toddle around on this planet for 47 years old but my sole agreement was to wake up at the beginning of this year if i went from unconscious to conscious overnight and all of a sudden everything that i thought was truth in my reality was stripped away and i was shown the 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 kind of the the truth behind the actual structures i would probably be extremely kind of traumatized or working through it in a way with the assistance of others or the assistance of information or the guidance that is available to me all of the people that you see out there at the moment they're in the process of waking up not all of them have the guidance and the and and the assistance at hand to 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 steer them through this it's um there was no other way of doing this there was no other way of of jolting two billion people awake in the space of 12 months without it being um contained within the circumstances that we're experiencing i mean if you look at it energetically forget about what the government are doing forget about the kind of the the, the nefarious plans of everything behind it it's it was all it's all been cooked and orchestrated in a certain way to move people who were comfortable in their unconsciousness into a state of being able to see feel and vibrate at a higher frequency but so many of them are in that transitional phase at the moment the the phase where they've 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 had their third eye the cover removed they can see they can sense they can feel the truth the 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 truth that is coming through the 
the usual illusion that they've that, that they've been covering up with is it's no longer it's no longer washing they're 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 basically in a state of trauma okay now i'm i'm receiving so many messages from people um, who are either experiencing or struggling themselves or they know somebody who's struggling it could be it could be a brother a sister a child a, a sibling a work colleague a friend if you it's like you know we got we got 7.7 7.8 billion people on this planet and over the course of this year the by december the 21st two billion will be awake that weren't awake before so you can i can absolutely guarantee you that the people that you're passing in the street that you know the the souls that you in maybe interact with on a daily basis like a percentage of them will be coming awake coming online and they weren't previously and if they are blessed enough to have you personally you know like you who i'm 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 talking to this morning if they've got you as a guide if they've got you as as somebody who they can they can come to for information and 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 assistance on a regular basis then they, they they are very blessed but there are so many out there that haven't got that at the moment they are they're in rudderless situations where they might have absolutely no spiritual community around them even if they did they wouldn't know how to identify with it because they they is such as the the level of the shift they don't even know what they should be looking for in the first place so just um, contained with all of this within all of this are the spiritual laws that we have we we are bound by on this planet to operate within and you might have heard the the old terminology kind of no save no rescue or 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 that you under spiritual law you, you are not permitted to interfere with another's process without their permission and at the moment that is that is as applicable as it was previously if not even more applicable but what it's going to do is place many of us who weren't there previously or or simply don't feel that we are ready into roles as teachers as guides as 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 leaders of our community things are changing very rapidly and one of the best things that you can possibly do at the moment and and i say this completely from the heart because and 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 to everybody who's reaching out to me everybody who who is is online and and calling for assistance at the moment if you've asked for help you will receive it okay there is absolutely there there is so much spiritual support around there are groups forming um very powerful groups educated groups professional groups who are focused and dedicated specifically to assisting people through this collective dark night of the soul because that is exactly what it is when you go from con unconscious to conscious in a very very short space of time the terminology applied to it is the dark night of the soul now those of you who are kind of seasoned with the spiritual pathway you know that a dark night of the soul can have a slightly repetitive effect you think you've been through it and a little bit further down the line at some point you're going to raise your vibration go through in another initiation and like lo and behold you're you're having another dark night well this for many people is the initial one it's it's that it's it's almost when you look at it energetically it almost looks like that point at which a a cell bursts into life at, at the moment of conception and and when you just see this huge flash of energy as the as as the alchemy takes place and 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 consciousness replaces all of the all of all of the veils or all, all of the the kind of the subdued energy all of basically it, it's it's like you, you take everything away and just leave a soul in kind of its rawest form with all the bells and the whistles and the nerve endings jangling and that is happening to so many people out there at the moment it's um there's no magic wand there's no sugary pill for it we've just got to be there and be available in whatever format that we are guided to so if you've got people reaching out to you you know now is now is your time to step up if you if you are part of a community if you can see people that need assistance offer that assistance but remember that there is that line in the sand with kind of you know the it's the old 
the old adage of no save, no rescue. You can't do somebody's ascension process for them. All you can do is be there as a, as a teacher, as lead, leading by example, leading by the heart. And this, this is where we are at at the moment. And, and as the energy climbs in vibration, you will see this increasing. The way that this is occurring at the moment on our planet, the, the only way to wake all of these people up in a short space of time was to create a melting pot of circumstances that was so pressurized that it, it literally it, it's a little bit like a like a ping pong but batting a ball from one side of the table to the other we're moving in a very very short space of time and it's to the to the trained or the untrained eye it is it's 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 causing huge ripples within our society but then it was going to because we've got to lose the parts of our society that don't work that don't serve us and build on top of what we have with a much higher frequency so you've heard me probably say it before we are going to basically see at some point in in the near future the removal of the 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 kind of like the more the lower frequency aspects of our society, the one, the, the aspects that aren't serving us in any way, shape or form, such as the corruption and within the politics, the, the education that's not actually educating the children, it's simply, it, it's, um, it's more just programming them and, and medicine that doesn't heal, it simply just, it, it, it creates profit. All of these things are in, in a process of flux, they're in a process of transformation. But the brilliant part about it is that instead of actually everything kind of just kind of collapsing back to the Stone Age, what happens is we just simply replace what needs to be replaced with the education and the knowledge and the technology and the, and the spiritual fortitude that we've already got in place and we just simply build from that point upwards. So it's a very, very positive forward movement. But where we are at the moment, you are going to probably inevitably be surrounded by people that are in need of help they will be reaching out they might well have lost their they might well have lost their jobs they might well have lost their so you know their sources of income there will be a a situations where people that have newly have, it's almost like that the, the joys of like oh, i've just woken up and my entire family and all of my old social circle and friends have started to reject me because the information that i'm starting to resonate with is threatening to them you know it, and and the list goes on but also others amongst our own spiritual community who have been pushed to the very limits of their or our tolerance by this rise in frequency so teachers get your teaching boots on and be ready to uh, to, to guide to lead to to step up in whatever way that you are called to do okay the as within so without as you as you lead others will be grab they, they they will gravitate towards you they you know they by far you can you can you can speak and talk and and convey information like you see it constantly going on online these these like online tennis matches or wars between people trying desperately to convey their information like i'll wake up before it's too late or or you know understand this this is my point of view you must take it on kind of thing and whereas that you know that has a percent that has a has a, an effect it plants a seed what we need at the moment is people who are standing up in their power in their vibration and stepping into their true roles okay so the dark night of the the collective dark night of the soul is is what i am seeing and this is this comes from a collection of of the 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 general kind of the vibrations the the messages that i'm receiving from people uh the the kind of the vibration of a lot of the comments or the content of the lot of the comments that that are on my page on other people's pages um there is a there is a reaching out there is a mass reaching out at the moment people have basically been as pushed as hard as they possibly can and we are the energy net we need to if if we haven't done so already we need to start creating this very powerful net of energy to catch the fallout 
Do you see where I'm coming from with this? It's like, you know, on one side of the coin, it's no save, no rescue. You can't get involved with other people's processes. But on the other side, we are responsible energetically and on a, on a, on a community we level to be there for the others around us and start pulling together when the time arises, when we are called to do so. So it's, it's as we move towards the, the end of this, this very transformational month and then enter into December, heading towards the, the winter solstice or the summer solstice if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, expect the vibrations to start right, to, to, to continue to rise. You know, they're doing it on a daily basis at the moment but the light will push okay and and when it pushes that hard the the the, the people who are resisting it um they they eventually have to yield to the frequency to the vibration to the effect that it is designed to have so yeah it's i feel like i'm kind of um dishing out some kind of pep talk this morning but it's not it's simply what we can and will expect from uh, you know from from our surroundings at the moment changes upon us and so be there you know if you can see somebody struggling reach out offer your assistance i know that you know many of us stepped onto this spiritual pathway because our our drive is to change the world to help others you know because we feel every single little thing that occurs around us on this planet directly within our heart center within our chakras and it is our natural instinctive response to step up and assist so that is what we are going to be doing okay but just remember remember where you start you where you stand on the spiritual laws with that and and sort of no save no rescue but be there be there ready to step up, ready to assist, ready to teach, ready to reform these higher form, these, these higher communities of assistance for, uh, I know many of us are already doing this. We've already formed like this golden web or network of, of very high frequency support around the planet. And, and we, um, and we are there and we are being there, but expect an increase in this as the frequencies rise, more people will kind of it's almost like you know like dropping the egg all of a sudden they're they're there they're in they're within the dark night and the tra the the transition from ego to heart in a very short space of time is what is occurring so you're seeing this very jarring you know, the, the, this effect you know and this is the point where these people switch off the news they start listening to the spiritual information they start taking um they start taking their own steps forwards and utilizing the, the advice that they are being given and so that, that's that's pretty much where i am with it and it's also interesting to know there's another thing before i i go about my my daily business and you go about yours the you've heard me talking about the the players behind the scenes okay this is a to totally different subject altogether so this, this is more the kind of the structural goings on you see like a lot of people are, are, are kind of throwing their attention at the, the front men, the puppets that we can see kind of orchestrating what's going on in the 3D reality. Very interesting to know, and just and you'll you'll hear me speaking more about this in the future weeks. The souls behind the scenes, the ones that were there at the fall of Atlantis, have begun to reveal themselves. <laughs> it's by again by spiritual law when the light rises, everybody steps out the shadows and and so things are going to get very very interesting it's it's uh it's action ta action stations it's fun time now sending you all loads of love hope you've had a a a good week a high frequency week and uh hope you have a beautiful beautiful weekend when it when it when it arrives tomorrow sending you all lots of love and i'll talk to you soon bye for now